Hello and welcome to a new episode of Around the World in 7 Days. My name is Neil and I am here with the stories behind the most important international news events of the week. First of all, we will discuss why an end to Libya crisis is still not in sight and the role played by major powers of the world in this crisis. Then we will discuss the coup in the African country of Burkina Faso and we'll also try to understand why African countries are more prone to coups and military takeovers. If you remember the Arab Revolution which took place around 10 years ago, then you would also remember that decades old regime had changed in the African country of Libya. As a result of the revolution, the then president Muammar Gaddafi was ousted from power. The rebels ousted the dictator Muammar Gaddafi who ruled Libya for around 42 years. The revolution is a remarkable incident in Libyan history, but at the same time one must know what happened in Libya after the revolution. After facing a historical revolution like the Arab Spring, where does Libya stand today and what transformations have taken place in the country? In other words, it is quite crucial to understand Libya's political situation after Gaddafi's ouster from power. After the change of power in 2011, not only Libyan internal politics has transformed, but also the interference of foreign powers is still visible in Libya. The armed forces of countries like Russia and Turkey are still present in Libya. In such a situation, the Libyan people are now worried about their future. Libya is a country located in the northern part of Africa. It is bordered by Egypt to the east, Sudan to the southeast, Chad to the south, Niger to the southwest, Algeria to the west, and Tunisia to the northwest. To its north lies the Mediterranean Sea. It shares maritime borders with Malta, Greece, and Turkey. In terms of area, it is the fourth largest country in Africa and 16th largest country in the world. Its capital is Tripoli, which is located to the west. Actually, Arab revolution, which started from Tunisia in the end of 2010, proved to be last nail on Gaddafi's rule. Gaddafi's rule came to an end in 2011 when rebels thrashed him to death. After such a gruesome incident, any country's system is bound to become stable. The same thing happened in Libya. Earlier, only one dictator dominated the Libyan politics, but after his death, many centers of governance cropped up in Libya. The reason being that Gaddafi's opposition took place not only during the Arab Revolution, but also the government was opposed by several rebel groups for many decades. Several rebel groups put their efforts in overthrowing Gaddafi from power. Therefore, two centers of governance cropped up in Libya. National Transition Council, that is NTC, was a coalition which was formed in Libya to oppose Gaddafi. Several rebel groups were part of this coalition. The change of power in Libya took place almost a year after the revolution started in Tunisia. Prior to this, the whole world, including the United Nations, was closely monitoring the developments in Libya. Therefore, Even before the end of Gaddafi's rule in Libya, the United Nations declared the NTC as a legitimate government. After the change of power in Libya, the African Union also recognized the NTC government. The NTC transferred power to the General National Congress in 2012. At present, Libya has been divided into two parts. One government is governing in the western part and the other government is governing in the eastern part. The western part that is Tripoli centered government is known as Government of National Accord that is GNA. It is backed by United Nations. The eastern part of Libya that is Tobruk is governed by Libyan National Army. A Libyan National Army government is known as Tobruk administration. A coalition government was formed in Libya through United Nations mediation in 2016, but some Libyan factions refused to accept the coalition government. Therefore, this government could not prove to be very effective. In fact, the presidential elections were to be held in Libya in December 2021, but the elections were put on hold due to some controversies. 
the presidential elections are now likely to be held in June 2022. Now the question remains that why the Libyan crisis is still not coming to an end. Actually NATO had started intervening in the Libyan issue in 2011 when the Arab revolution was at its peak. NATO forces attacked Libya in March 2011. Armed forces of America, Britain and France participated in the attacks. It suggests that America was actively participating in the attacks. However, on a 9/11 attack anniversary in September 2012, the Libyan extremists attacked the US consular compound in the Libyan city of Benghazi. Four American officers were killed in the attack. After this incident, America pulled out of Libyan war. But the question remains that whether America had really pulled out of Libyan war? Actually, Russia and Turkey's armed forces are still present in Libya. Russia, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and France support the Tobruk-centered Libyan National Army government, while Turkey supports the UN-backed Tripoli-centered government. It implies that the foreign powers are divided on the Libyan issue. and Libya is also divided due to these foreign powers the reason behind Libya being divided is that both the Libyan governments are acting like pawns of these foreign powers now you must be thinking that america is nowhere in this picture actually america is not directly involved in the war but it is indirectly involved in the libyan affairs It is impossible that America remains uninvolved in the affairs of a country where Russia's presence is visible. We have already informed you that Turkey is supporting the anti-Russian faction and Turkey is member of NATO. One cannot deny the fact that America is NATO's strongest representative. It is a fact that if NATO's forces are present in any country, then the NATO forces will definitely have America's support. It means that Turkey's presence in Libya is somehow America's presence in Libya. America's direct intervention is not visible in Libya as America is facing various challenges for several years. For several years now, North Korea and China are posing a challenge to America. The US has been at odds with Russia over Ukraine since the Russian annexation of the Crimean Peninsula in 2014. For all these reasons America's direct involvement is still not visible in Libya. Still, America is somehow present in Libya. As these superpowers are fighting among themselves, the Libyan crisis has still not resolved itself. In short, the Libyan people's future hangs in balance due to the tussle between these superpowers. It is a fact that Libya is one of the top African countries in terms of oil production. and the libyan oil reserves attract the world's superpowers these superpowers presence has not only divided the governments in libya but also they have squandered the libyan natural resources it is to be seen that when the 10 year old libyan crisis will come to an end and when the libyan people will be at peace There was a coup in the African country of Burkina Faso recently. The rebel troops ousted the democratically elected president Roche Mark Christian Kabore from power. With this, the army took over the command of power in its hands. Rebel troops captured the ousted president Kabore and placed him under house arrest. The coup was announced on state television by Captain Sitsor Kadar Audraogo. As per the army, President Kabore failed to handle the country's affairs. Most residents of the capital Ogadougou welcomed the military coup. They welcomed the coup and raised slogans in support of military rule. However, African leaders and international organizations have condemned the establishment of a military regime junta in Burkina Faso. The US has halted 450 million dollars aid being provided to Burkina Faso. At the same time, the African Union has suspended Burkina Faso. Today we will discuss the whole issue. Besides, there are two other things that we must know. An important question is why Africa is witnessing repeated military coups. In the past 18 months, there have been coups in 5 African countries. There have been 9 coup attempts in the last 2 years 
and out of which six coup attempts were successful. Another important question is that why is public welcoming a military coup? Is a military coup such a good thing that it should be welcomed? We will discuss these issues, but first of all, we will try to understand the geographical location of Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is a landlocked country in West Africa. It is bordered by Mali to the northwest, Niger to the northeast, Benin to the southeast, and Ghana and Togo to the south. It shares its border with the Ivory Coast to the southwest. The capital, Ouagadougou, is located in the center of Burkina Faso. The northern part of Burkina Faso lies in the Sahel region. For this reason, Burkina Faso is also counted among the Sahel countries like Mali, Niger, Chad, Sudan, etc. It is a member of United Nations, the African Union, and the Economic Community of West African States or ECOWAS, an organization consisting of 15 West African countries. The population of Burkina Faso is about 20 million. Before the military coup, the President Kabore, who was in power, had won the elections twice in a row. He had easily defeated his opponent twice in 2015 and 2020. But he was repeatedly accused of not running the government properly. The major reason for the accusation was not being able to control the increasing interference of Islamic extremists in Burkina Faso. The citizens of Burkina Faso were anguished with President Kabore. Strong protests were organized against the government in November 2021. People were outraged by Kabore's failure in dealing with Islamic extremists. So far, thousands of people have been killed in extremist incidents in Burkina Faso and more than 1.5 million people have been displaced. It is believed that the coup's plan was prepared in August 2021 and it has been executed now. Captain Sitsor, who has led the coup, has cited these reasons for the coup in Burkina Faso. The army, while suspending the constitution of Burkina Faso, issued an order to dissolve the parliament and assured the restoration of democratic order in the country soon. The world at large did not accept the army's claim and it has reacted sharply to the coup. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has appealed to coup leaders for laying down arms. The African Union and ECOWAS have called for Burkina Faso's suspension and a number of other sanctions. And as I had already told earlier, America has stopped financial aid to Burkina Faso. However, the African Union and ECOWAS called for a suspension of Burkina Faso until the restoration of country's constitution. Therefore, the army has announced to restore the constitution and form a transitional government. However, when democracy will be restored in Burkina Faso is still not clear yet. Now the question is, why the citizens of Burkina Faso welcomed the coup? Burkina Faso got independence from the French in 1960. But Burkina Faso's challenges did not stop at this point. Frequent droughts and violent incidents have enhanced the country's challenges. Burkina Faso is regarded as a treasure of gold. However, Burkina Faso's internal conflicts and external interference in its economy has restrained its growth. Burkina Faso is believed to be affected by an Islamic insurgency since 2015. The problem is prevalent in all the African countries and it has spread in Burkina Faso from neighboring country Mali. Due to this, the tourism industry in Burkina Faso has suffered a lot. Islamic extremists have taken control of some areas of Burkina Faso and they have forced residents of these areas to follow their harsher version of Islamic law. But the governments of Burkina Faso have failed to control the situation. We have already mentioned that around 15 lakh people have left the country due to the violence. The situation is so gruesome that people have lost hope that democratic governments ruling Burkina Faso will be able to help them. In short, people have lost their trust in the governments of Burkina Faso. For this reason, the people now have more expectations from the army than the government. Hence, when army captured power, people welcomed it. Now, as far as the question of frequent coups in African countries is concerned, the answer lies in the people welcoming the coups. There are almost similar reasons behind the coups taking place in the other African countries. Poverty, 
worsening economic conditions and increasing violence are the main reasons behind such coups. Last week, we had discussed about African country Democratic Republic of Congo. In that case too, we saw that Congo is rich in natural resources, but it has failed in progressing. It is generally seen that historically African countries became unstable after gaining independence. It is because many extremist groups are flourishing in these countries one after the other as these countries are poor and its citizens do not have means of earning livelihood. Under these circumstances, whenever the army feels that governments are failing to resolve the challenges being faced by the country, then it overturns governments. Another reason for the coup is that in most of the African countries, dictatorial governments have been in power for several decades. During this period, not only did these governments become autocratic and violated human rights, but also they failed to give priority to the development-related works. As its result, frustration and concerns about their future became common among the citizens. Therefore, the citizens themselves want that somehow there should be change in power and there should be some ray of hopes for them. In the case of Libya too, we saw that Muammar Gaddafi ruled the country for 42 years. People were so anguished and angry that he was beaten to death. The army ended the 37-year rule of Robert Mugabe of Zimbabwe in 2017 as Mugabe too had become autocratic in his long rule. As per the BBC website, there have been more than 200 coups in Africa since 1950. There have been 9 coup attempts during the last 2 years. As per the website, there is an average of 4 coup attempts in Africa every year. The military seized power after the death of President Idris Deby while fighting rebels in Chad's northern plains in April 2021. Take the case of Burkina Faso. Since independence, there have been 9 coup attempts so far, out of which 8 coup attempts have been successful. However, only time will tell the fate of Burkina Faso. It is to be seen how much more time it will take for the entire African subcontinent to become stable and peaceful. Now let us have a look at practice questions based on the stories of today's bulletin. 1. What are the reasons for the Libyan crisis not coming to an end? Explain the reasons behind the presence of foreign powers in Libya. 2. What are the reasons behind repeated coups in Africa? Described with a special reference to Burkina Faso's military coup. That is all for this week's Around the World in 7 Days. I will be back next week with new stories behind the events which continue to shape the world around us. Stay tuned.